Hi guys, it's Sam from Raindance. This week's video is on how to make a good trailer for your movie. A trailer can pull the audience in, but at the same time can tear them away and make them lose interest. So this is tip number one. Giving away too much. Something that blockbuster movies seemingly tend to do more and more these days is give away too much in their trailer, and that's definitely something to avoid. Take for instance Gone Girl. David Fincher only allowed the team that were making the trailer to use the first hour of the film. And if you've seen it, you know exactly why, because of the twists and the turns. If you haven't, don't worry, I'm not gonna give anything away for now. But that really creates a sense of what the film's about, but also what's to come, and keeps you wanting to watch it and wanting to know more about it. Tip number two is less can be more. So let's take, for instance, Alien, the sci-fi horror classic. Within that trailer, there was hardly any information on the characters given, what it was about, but you still got a vibe of this eerily dark sci-fi horror that just displayed a lot of the tense moments within the movie, and then this, the tagline flashed up in space, no one can hear you scream. And that was something that really hit home for a lot of viewers and made you want to find out more about the picture and more about the, the plot of the film and something like that, something that can be enticing for audience viewers. Another example similar to this is The Revenant, DiCaprio's Oscar winning role, um, where the trailer got rid of the social norms, there was no music, there was no dialogue, it was just for the action sequence and as the action increased so did the breathing rate of the character of DiCaprio over the top and this really created quite an increasingly tantalizingly teaser trailer as it were, hardly giving away any information, all you see is the setting and the characters but without them talking, without the plot discussed. So that brings me on to the final point, which is for low budget trailers. So a lot of the films I've mentioned are blockbusters, they're big, they're hugely successful movies. Not saying yours isn't gonna be if it's low budget, but that's something to bear in mind, is how can you create a similar vibe if you don't wanna shoot more stuff for it, something like that. So you should definitely check out, for example, Deadly Virtues, Love, Honor, Obey, which is a low budget uh, film produced by Rain Dance's own Elliot Grove. And within that, we just see questions asked by the cast who are being terrorized by the powerful home intruder. And he's answering the questions. And from this, that just sets out the tone of the film and what it's going to be about. And that's something that's really important to bear in mind. You need to tell your audience what they're going to see and why they're going to enjoy it, but also why they don't just need to watch the trailer. There's more information in there for them to find out and there's more research they can do themselves. And the, the final point is knowing your audience. So it's really important when you go in to make a trailer or to, to make a movie, in fact, that you're going to need to have, a, have an idea of who's going to go and watch it in mind. Um, so on the other end of the spectrum, we've got films like the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Transformers and stuff. They know who's going to see their movies. And as I did when I was a young boy, I wanted to see explosions. I wanted to see Iron Man fighting people. And that's what they put in their trailers because they know that's what people are going to see. And that concludes our video this week. Thanks, guys. Let me know what your favourite trailers are and stuff. Hey, guys. If you haven't checked out Film 4 Summer Screen at Somerset House, do it. Largest open screen in London, great location and great films.